recording. Recording! Oh my gosh, recording. Yo, yo, two weeks in a row. It must be game season. Damn, it must be something to talk about. Uh, that's exciting. Talk, so, uh, Oh, is it talk a boot? Speaking of fitness, no do to boot it. Talk a boot it. Uh, what are we talking about today? We're talking about uh, what's that on All the right. screen behind you? We got it, new TV in the gym. That's exciting. Yeah, we got new TVs. Ooh. We got a bigger TV on the main main wall, and then we got the- uh, A functioning TV behind you. A TV that actually works. That's exciting. Yeah. Is that the one that was up there? No. I didn't think so. That was from my house. Well, this one doesn't quite work. There's that, oh, okay. that bright white dot in it. <laughs> gotcha. So that's why that would be. Rowan decided to do this, I think. <laughs> okay. And, and see how long she hold her finger there. And it was burned, probably a long time. Burned a hole in it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're going to talk about our game's predictions today. This is it. We're making it official. So Sorry, guys, but Bryce is going to be talking more than I am because he has three no, people's predictions. No, no. You're going to talk mostly. It's, we only have 20 minutes. Oh, that's true. Ocean and I did this, and that because I knew I could. We were gonna go on forever, so now it's your turn to go. And twenty minutes is gonna be tough. I can tell you mine real quick. Well, I came up with them in like less than ten minutes. It's, well, so did we, but it's not. It, trust me, it takes longer than ten okay, minutes. So let's get started. All right, so, so we go with the women first. So you're gonna start um, number ten. My number ten is Emily Rolf. Jesus she Christ, She's a Paul. podcast guest. I didn't even put her on, and, and I should I have. think that she might listen to our podcast on occasion Shit. since she was a guest. That's right. And I would have loved to have put her higher up, but I'm sorry, Emily. As much as I have Damn the it. utmost faith in you, I'm going to put you in spot number 10. I would have put her on the list but just for that. She should, right there. You know what? I'm You're changing my, hero, my list. I'm changing You're my, my hero. list. My list has changed. And Emily, I really, really, really hope you do significantly better than that, but I'm still putting you at 10. I'm dropping, I'm um, I'm dropping Danny Spiegel. My my tenth was Spiegel. She's okay. out. Rolf's yeah, in. She's gone. It's Rolf's official. In. Official. Okay, so that's my number ten. What's your number ten? I had Spiegel. <laughs> okay. I gotta take her. I mean, out. she's fun to look at. You know what? I only put her in there because uh, her. You know, she can out I think she's us? on fire this year. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure can. Emily can out snatch us too. Actually, so. Yeah, probably all of them at this point. <laughs> Most of these girls can. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Number nine. That was easy. Uh, O'Connell. Who? Oh, Aramo uh, uh, O'Connell. For, formerly Aramo. Okay. Um, she has I a just, hyphenated name. Yes. But on the on the sheet, really, like, why do you think she's O'Connell. gonna? Why you got her in there? Um, top, t- top ten. She's in my top ten because she blows me away a lot of the time. Okay. Um, so she's not like your top five pick normally. Sure. No, definitely not. But at the same time, she's come in top five. Yeah, like no, multiple times. Good. So like she's kind of out of left field. All of a sudden, boom. So my feeling with the um, – she's the last chance qualifier. So my feeling with the last chance qualifiers, you could you could put either the guys or the girls, except for Krennikov's not going to make it to the game. So um, you definitely can't put him in the top 12. But to me, I think if you won that last chance qualifier, you are in the top 12. Yeah. So, um, so maybe my, it. my 11th and 12th would probably be um, Christy and then that Emma Tall. Yeah, for the ladies, just because I almost put tall in there too. Yeah, because there you had to have some grit and some fucking mad heart to to get through that shit. Oh, Especially yeah. like like Emma Tall, that might have been a little anger too. That oh yeah, drove she was through, a little pissed about all that. Which maybe and then she, she heard that we screwed up on the podcast talking about her. Yeah, and she yeah. was a little pissed. I think a little pissed. Sorry about that, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> so I had uh, Brooke Wells. Brooke Wells, she's yeah. a little higher up my list. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure she is. So a lot of people, I I just don't. I have no faith in. Ben Berger on athletes. <laughs> She's not a burnt Ben Berger on athlete anymore. Too, now. Li- too little, too late. So, uh, yeah, too I don't little, know. I think late. Shane's fixed her. I don't think so. So, um, Thor's daughter is my next. Wow. So, this will shock you, so Paul. Eight. I mean, you don't really need a reason why Annie is in your top 10. She's Annie Thor's daughter. Yeah. 11th year. She Amazing. just pulls it off every time. So, she just popped out a baby. That's the only problem. And that's why I didn't put her in my top 10. But I think she'll still pull out like a, a solid finish. I think that's I, why I'm thinking eight. She's a, she is a fucking finisher if there's ever been a finisher. Like she, again, not a top five for this year. I really don't think right. so. No, I but don't think so. top 10, definitely. Yeah. I would have actually had her like, I, that's how I, I have really him mentally. I guessing all his questions. I had her in 11th. Um, originally. Okay, and so who did you put for for number eight? Mal O'Brien. Ooh, the, the new the new chick. Okay. We'll um, talk about her again. Because again, I don't think she's gonna she's not gonna do as well as people think because it's her first time at the games and she's twelve years old. Okay, and then uh, next I have Katrin. I think uh, David's daughter is gonna. Oh, the curse come in of seven. The curse of uh, the Bergeron. Okay. Yeah, I think seven. Again, though, I think seven is like a. 
she did better last year. She was fourth last year, yeah. third last year. Yeah. Did she get a medal last year? Second. She, she got second? Second. Okay, well, I'm she's, impressed. She's really good. But uh, I still think seventh. Yeah, no, I agree. I think she got second last year because of the because the way it well worked the small out. field. Yep. And uh, I'm not gonna say she got lucky, but she it, it worked to her. It, it luck. definitely uh, the, not luck. Her the programming favorite. worked. Um, she for had her, some clearly. good good events for her. Yeah. And I think this year is definitely very different programming. Yeah. And I think some of that stuff's gonna kick her ass, but I still think she'll pull off a good score. And I think the 40 people that hurts her. Um, yeah. Oh, big like time. like that tr- that long run that they did. She only did well in that because Dave decided to make it out and back, you yeah. know, in the last Otherwise, day. it wouldn't have been so good. Otherwise, she was in last place, I think. Yeah. She, she was easy, holding back to once she knew, like, oh, shit, okay, now I know exactly what I got to do. Um, but it kind of one of those things, maybe unknown, unknowable isn't her jam. Yeah. Maybe she, she's, good at, she's good at strategy. She's really smart at that shit. She's one of the best. And that's probably Bergeron, possibly, but, but her in particular – so knowing, oh, we have we have to run this whole thing again. Well, I just happen to remember where I could push, where I could, you know. So, I think that helped her a lot. That event in particular helped her a ton. I got okay, Laura so Horvath. Seven. Oh, Laura Horvath. Horvath. Ah, I didn't put her up there. She's just shit the bed too many times. <laughs> she I has. Agree. She has good potential. She has, and I'm just I'm I'm betting on her not shitting the bed for once, and I think. Did you see her though in the I like know. into her handstands, which like her biggest she, weakness, she and she hadn't fixed them? Right, that's a problem. And like, if you haven't fixed your biggest weakness, yeah. you're not going to the so top. So without without work, I think the best she can do is seventh, whether at whatever she worked on. Like, I think yeah. that's her best potential. Yeah. Okay. I'd, so I'm next. not a I'm not a Horvath can win this if she fixed her handstands. No, no, I, think I agree. Your handstands are fucked. Unless the programming happens to be really well for her, which it was yeah. her first year. And yeah. she crushed it. Because the programming place, so. was great for her. Yeah. Um, my next is Carrie Pierce. Boom, in agreement. I think that's uh I think she could do better than that though. Actually, I almost put her fifth. The problem is the other people. But there's some good people <laughs> there's in some front fucking of her. names in the top five. And then uh my next choice is uh Kristen Holte. Interesting. You know what? Ocean had her too, and I did not. I, Kristen I'm Holte kicks her. ass. Um, I know her, I not know her well or anything, but yeah. I spent some time with her at Power Monkey. Yeah. She just like pulls it out of left field. Like yeah. I would never have believed so many times. She just impresses the hell out of me. So I think she's going to be top five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I get her um, confused with Aramo. And yeah, I, I know, was I thinking, <laughs> and that's why I didn't put Holt in there. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Always. Okay. And then who's your five? <sighs> five. Um, Pierce. Oh, wait, Holt. And I got uh, I got Barnhart. Okay, I, I feel like um, two years ago she did really well in that clean that clean ladder thing. Yeah, well, she's really strong, and she didn't know her max. And I think if she has from that moment on, I'm hoping she got better coaching and actually started paying attention to some more shit. Okay, and got better. If she did, she's going to be speeding in the top along. Five. Number four. Yeah, I am putting Brooke Wells in number four. God damn, man! I think she has been Sweet. training her ass off with Tia. Yeah, and I think that she's like forgetting a lot of the Bergeron stuff and getting into the Tia mentality. Yeah. So I think she's got a solid shot at top five. I'm gonna put her at four. Yeah, I I could see I could see I got Katrin. She's gotten better. I got Katrin, so I went the other way with that. Okay. And um, then next yeah. for that yeah. in third spot, I think Haley Adams is third. Huh. Okay. I think uh, Adams has contention for second but because of my top two that's what puts adams in third got it so you got Kara, second who you got second I, tia in second oh nice so i think tia is not gonna win this year dude you're out of the four of us three of us said that oh really oceans is a, i think the only one that says tia i'm sure that you guys won't agree with my top choice though probably and not. i think for mallory o'brien is oh, gonna no crush chance. the ladies no chance i think that she is gonna pull it out and everyone's going to be blown away. And the reason she's I think pull that, out her penis is that how she's going to win. The reason I think that man? she's going to no kick everyone's ass in this, yeah. is because it would be so unexpected for her to actually pull it off in her rookie year oh, at yeah. like seventeen years Sneak old. Attack. And like, did you watch her in the what are the sectionals or whatever yeah, the fuck they were it. called? Semis. She crushed it. Yeah. Yeah, like she, did. she made those other girls her bitches. Yeah, she did. So I think she's got so much heart, and she's so young yeah. that. She could just will her way to the end. Now I think she's got remember it. What you said you about, just watch. Remember what you said about her. I have Haley Adams. Okay. I think that's possible, too. Did you watch the Resurrection show or Re- Resurgent? Whatever the fuck it's no, called. No, I haven't seen it yet, okay. actually. So when you watch that, you realize um, 
we haven't seen Haley Adams nearly at her best, and you have another year under her belt with Rich Froning, it's going to be real hard for, her, for anybody to beat her. And if you watched their semifinal, she held back against Tia some. I think she's waiting to uncork the can. You know what so I'm saying? I definitely don't yeah. disagree with that. I think that my top three, Tia, Adams, and Mallory, could all Flip interchange. Yep. But I'm still going to put it in that order mostly because I actually think there's a pretty good chance Tia is going to win, but I don't want to yeah. give it to her. Right. So that's why I'm going to give it to Mallory. And Adams, I'd say, is just as likely as Mallory be to win, in my opinion. Tia not in first place makes it interesting. But I, here's here's your weakness. Think of the upset. Your weakness with your list. No Cara. Wet, uh, no Cara, Cara Saunders. No Saunders. Yeah, Cara probably should be on there. <laughs> but maybe not. She she's um. In, she's from infamous, Australia, and that's not good. Infamous for shitting out, and she almost got taken out for COVID. So still good, right? She's not. She's in still the good. Yet. No, she's. Oh, yeah, she is. They're, they all. They're, they're all, all there. Yeah, oh. they all chimed in. So Bailey's out. Oh. He got Dan Bailey. Um, he was in? Yeah, he's in the 35-year-old group. Oh, 35 okay, was okay. going to have a shootout. Kyle Kasperbaugh, okay. um, Bailey, and, and uh, Hobart. Oh, wow. Like you were, It was going to be nasty. Yeah. And so why is Bailey out? Drug testing? COVID, yeah, he <laughs> failed a test. Not the test you would think. <laughs> Who would have thought? Fucking COVID <laughs> test. You know what? I actually don't think Bailey is on drugs. He was. I think he was on <laughs> he drugs. He certainly was. Look at the size of that guy's arms. But yeah. I don't think he's currently on the No, anymore. I don't think he, he is either. He just naturally can keep it. Yeah. Now that he built it. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I agree. Um, but yeah, but that would have been awesome. Actually, that would have given us a reason to oh, watch dude, that category. Sick. I mean, there still is Hobart yeah. and Casper Bauer to see if anybody. Well, no one's gonna really get touch Casper Bauer, but no, I don't think um, there's much of a competition. Bailey uh, might have though. But Bailey, it would make it interesting. Bailey would watch put some Dan's fun there. if he's not anything. He's he's yeah, a, he's if nothing a fun else. Dude. He's amusing. Yeah, okay. it would have been fun. Um, so men's so, oh, side, and also another person you didn't have on there was um, uh, Shadburn, but nah. she's out. No, oh, okay, good. COVID, so sick. Bad shoes. Bad shoes. Oh, you're a fucking croc. You, you didn't put her on because of her Crocs. Yeah, I was like, nah, no one wearing Crocs can pull this shit off. Oh, man, she was crushing Okay, too. number 10 men. Number 10 men. I'm going to give it to Sweeney because I want him to be on the top 10. Sweeney Todd. Okay. Sweeney Todd, he is good. He does win events. The CrossFit Cowboy. I hate him because they, uh, every time he's on the fucking, st- the, the CrossFit Cowboy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he's, not a cro- he's not a cowboy, first off. No, but he likes his cowboy hat. A fucking cowboy would make fun of his sorry ass, and he'd take his little bitch hat from him. Well, Fuck you, I like him. The, the year that I went to the games was like his first year at the games, and he yeah. was such a crowd pleaser. Oh, yeah, no, he is. And he is good. Yeah. He's not going to win good, but I think he's 10. What's his first? Sean? Sean, Sean Sweeney, Sweeney, yeah. Okay, I like that. That's not bad. I just I can't stand it. You know, the real problem is the announcing staff. Yeah. That's the bigger That's problem. That's on their problem. Cro- yeah. Biggest problem in CrossFit. Okay, what's your 10? Uh, it's not going to be a popular one. Maderos. Ooh, way I, down I just, there. I don't like... Just like I don't like. You think Sweeney's. the mold's gonna get caught on something? And no, just like I don't like his hat because like real cowboys yeah. wear cowboy hats. Real men with mullets wear mullets. Remember that. <laughs> okay. Next topic. <laughs> um, number nine. I put Hopper. Okay. I think that he's good enough to make it in the top ten, but only just. Okay. Everything you said about Mallory O'Brien goes to Hopper. The only difference is Hopper beat the best people in CrossFit. Mallory O'Brien beat, who was second place? Nobody. The Emma Carey. Yeah. He beat Panchek, Maderos. I don't even remember who else was at that thing. Ridiculous. And I guess I just have less faith, but I don't have a good reason why. Everything you said about O'Brien should put Hopper in first place. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. I'm sorry, second place. But I'm still putting him in. Because I already know what your first place is, and I agree. (laughs) Okay, so then uh, what's your number nine? Sager. Sager. Yeah, yeah, it's his, that's fair. It's his best. I have him eight. It's the best I think he could do. Oh, you do. Nice. Yeah. yeah I mean, I don't think it's. He's kind of like like I feel with Wells. She's kind of. I think she's as good as she can be physically. Mentally, ah, she could be better, better this year. I don't think so. And we'll I don't see. think Sager can be any better. Okay. I think I we've think, seen our best. Okay. Yeah. And then number seven, I got Fikowski. I think the beginning of wow. the wow. I think the beginning of the games is really well set up for him already. Fucking first place, first so. day. Maybe maybe even into day three, he's in first place still. Yeah. Because of a strong. So one. I think he should be able to hold on to seventh. I was going to put him higher up, but there's a lot of good games. It's just in it's the so game. much, yeah. So everybody's kind of a like. I have him in sixth. Ocean had him in seventh as well. Um, 
Okay. And I feel like him and Hopper, same issues. That, and it's not, I hate saying, oh, you're tall, but, but it does make a difference. Oh, it makes a huge difference. Um, Hopper doesn't quite have the same problem. Even though I have Fakowski higher than Hopper, I think Fakowski is probably a better athlete. Yeah. But, um, and he wants it and bad. You, and you year. have Fakowski higher than Hopper, too. Yeah. So that's good. Okay, okay. So sixth. Sixth, I have Adler. Yeah, I didn't put Adler on mine. Why, why, you, have Ad, why was, you have Adler? I was tempted to put him higher up, actually, because he did really well this year. He crushed the Open. Yeah. He crushed his he semifinal. Won, won he won open. his well, no, so he won the Open. Yeah. And then he crushed in his semifinal. Yep. Um. So I mean, he performed better than I expected him to this year. Yeah. And he was good last year. Yep. So I Agreed. actually was tempted to put him higher up, but again, there's so many people above him that it's hard to. So I just put him at six. I just couldn't put him in my list because I, I just. I don't know why, personality-wise or whatever. It's just not flashy enough, and there's so many names. Yeah. There's so many to pick from. Okay, I got your six. Uh, Fikowski. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, number five, I put Maduro's up there. Okay. So I think he's a top five finisher again. I think that's his best-case scenario. Uh, Ocean also has him there. So uh, I got BKG. Really? Okay. I can see that. BKG is one of those guys that is yeah. possibly... He surprises us often because every, he's been around every forever. Every time you're like, wait a minute, who's in what place? BKG? Yeah. And like he's been, and it's in, like, wow, he's been in the league. it's like, wow, you got third again. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? I don't think he's ever won, has he? No, definitely not. But he's gotten a medal. He's gotten third, right? I believe he's gotten third. I think third. so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, number four, I got Saxton Pancheck. Sa- what? I think Saxton is going to crush it. Saxton. No he way. He wants to kick his brother's ass so bad. But he ain't gonna. No, so that's why I put him in fourth, and I put Scott (laughs) in third. Scott in third, nice. So I think Saxton wants it. I like that. That's great. So bad that I think that he might have it. And he's getting stronger. He's strong already. He got stronger. I mean, he beats Scott in some stuff. His engine is fucking insane. He'll beat Scott in stuff. You're like, what the fuck? Um, Yeah, that that would be fun. So I think there's a high chance of that. So that's my 4-3. So Saxton and then uh, Scott. I like that. That's cool. Uh, my 4 is Colton Mertens because that's a fucking man with a mullet. Yeah, that's, that's a real a mullet. legit mullet. That is a farm, that's not for show. That's a fucking farm-raised mullet. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And Colton Mertens is the fucking man. I don't – this is my dream fourth place. I think out of all my picks, that probably is the – it's not very likely. He could opinion, fucking win though, at the same it's time. Possible. He's, it's possible. It's possible. He's my by far my favorite after uh, watching some podcasts with him. He is. He's okay. He's, and he's what's your number comic. three? Because I already did my number three. Olson. Okay. Yeah. I. Yeah. I, I, it's like the, it's do or die time for the top three. Um, yeah. And uh, you got you got Scott. I got Scott in second. So I have Olson in third. Where's Where's your Olson? And my Olson in second. 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 Yeah. So I got Scott in third, then I got Olsen in second. Yeah, and everybody has Valner in Valner. first place. Yeah, because he is better. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is Valner's year. He's he's put in the work. Yeah, he is basically full time CrossFit now for the first year of a yeah. real season ever. Absolutely. Um, I think now that Matt's out of the way, he wants it more so than he ever did before because he doesn't yeah. have to beat Matt and he needs to prove that he's the next king in it, line. It takes a little little heat off of him so he could relax and maybe perform better. Yeah, and he's strong as shit right now. He's strong, man. So strong, strong. Yeah. Um, And then his engine's fantastic. I mean, everything about him spells crushing. I don't think it's going to be a sellout this year. I don't think. um, I don't think either side is going to have first place be dominant over the rest of the field. No way. No way. I think. um, I think that Mallory's going to have to just like fight her ass off to get to the top yeah, there. Yeah, she have to cut some Achilles tendons in the back. But um, I think I think same thing for Velner. I think he's going to have to earn it because to get in front of Panchek. Oh, dude, Panchek and Olsen are. And to get in front of Olsen. They're, and Olsen's they're been not so close for so long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, oh, the press buttons. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an intense year. I think this m- might be our best games of recent history. Yeah. Um, so. I last so. year definitely wasn't fantastic, the way no. it all went down. And, and, I mean, considering, I actually feel like CrossFit did a good job of salvaging something. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, considering all the pandemic and all the shit that happened, I feel like CrossFit did a good job of it all, actually. No, I think good. that having the changes in upper management and everything worked oh, out good. well. It's, yeah. I think that the way that the whole open and the new structure is all set up oh, worked great. out well. All in all, I'm really pumped for this year. I think yeah, it's going to be too. a win. I think it's, I think it's the most exciting. There's more buzz around it. That's for sure. 
Like I also online. wish that we could be there this year. Yeah, how awesome would, would this be, nice. be live this year? That'd be awesome. Yeah. And I'm curious to see how busy it's going to be. Whether the stands are all going to be totally full, I'm or like sure. if the COVID Dude, shit's going to be a problem. Just there. looking at like um, online, there's just so much buzz about it. Like, there's so much media. Uh, I mean, social media, granted, but that's what it is nowadays, right? Yeah. Um, and I just I feel like uh, it's going to be. R- Really interesting to see what CrossFit does with it because clearly they've they have a different business strategy than they did in the past. And twenty minutes <laughs> later, guys. What was the thing right at it? At uh, twenty thirteen. It was it was good coincidental timing to yeah. just cut us off and be done. <laughs> <laughs>